one way to think about the emotionality of ADHD is to see how it fits in with the way we conceptualize other ADHD symptoms. The, during development, the, as the brain is growing, the last, one of the last parts of the brain to mature are the frontal lobes of the brain. And the frontal lobe, the frontal cortex of the brain, is, it's involved in what we call the executive functions. The executive functions are the brain functions that help us to organize our lives, help us inhibit behaviors that are inappropriate, uh, help us to start behaviors that are, are appropriate. It's essentially they form an organizing function um, for other what we call lower brain functions. Now in ADHD, we think that there is a delay or a, uh, a problem in brain development that creates a brain that doesn't quite uh, have a good set of executive functions where the executive is not if you will, working properly. And because of that, the child is not able to inhibit certain behaviors. Uh, and that leads to mainly to hyperactivity. The child is climbing on furniture where they're not supposed to be. Um, it, may lead them, it may lead their attention to wander. And that's why ADHD kids are inattentive. They're looking out the window in the school as opposed to focusing on the teacher. And that, if you will, is because the part of their brain that's saying focus, that's saying time to control their behavior, is not doing a good job controlling their behavior. And Third course in the ADHD is impulsivity, and there's a kind of classic example of the brain not controlling the behavior that should be controlled, uh, that should be stopped. So the child who runs into the street to get the ball uh, has not stopped that behavior. They've impulsively gone and done something. In simple terms, they've acted without thinking. Um, now we can understand efficient emotional self-regulation in the same way, because uh, here's a situation where an emotion occurs, and the emotion now is preventing the brain from doing something that it should do, preventing the frontal lobes from stopping the child from perhaps throwing a ball at a friend who made a comment, or it's, uh, the brain is not stopping the adult from getting involved in a road rage incident because they haven't been able to calm themselves down after some kind of incident on the highway. It's all part of the same complex of what we call the executive functions, the ability of the brain to, uh, to stop inappropriate behaviors and to start up appropriate behaviors to control uh, what we do in our lives. It's a very important part of being a human being, being able to control our own behavior. And that comes from our frontal lobes, which are the biggest in all animals and humans.